Hi everyone, so today I'm doing a video on all the products I've used up recently and it's quite a pile here. I've collected everything in my bathroom and just, um, yeah, whenever I use something up, I put it in here. I feel like when you've used up an entire product, you are pretty much the authority on giving that product a most <laughs> excellent review. Also, if you are interested in this makeup look that I'm wearing right now, I don't know which order I'm uploading it if I'm gonna put the tutorial before I do this one. In any case, it is a makeup tutorial that I'm planning to put up. Um, if it's already up on my channel, I will link it below, and if not, then it's coming very soon. Um, I finished up one of these shower gels by L'Occitane, and this is the Fleur d'Or and Acacia Perfumated Shower Gel, and I really, really did enjoy this, and oh, I love the scent of this. It's just the most gorgeous scented shower gel. It's very sort of high-end perfume smelling, you know, it doesn't just smell like a cheap shower gel. Um, and this one actually had little crystals, like little um, gold sparkles in it, which I mean completely rinsed off, but it was kind of, you know, it was fun to use at Christmas time and I love the scent. All right, next I used up an entire one of these and I'm like proud of this because this takes a while to get through. This is a bath, um, bubble bath from Kneipp and this is called Zeit für Träume, so time for dreams. And um, this smells like lavender vanilla, and Abendblume, which I don't know what that is in English, an evening flower, I guess. And this has just a really nice calming scent. This was actually a purple colored bubble bath. And when you poured this into your bath, um, it made the, the water like a purpley blue, like a perfect blurple. So it was really fun. And these shower gel, or these um, bath products by Knight the Bubble Baths give an incredible amount of foam. So you just, just foam for days and they're really inexpensive. Expensive, so I love the bowl baths by them. I have a few more. A hand cream, this is by the brand I Am. If you live in Switzerland, you can get it at Micro. It's their in-house brand, and this is the Honey Hand Butter. And I didn't really like this. I mean, I used it up, but it was quite thin. You know, the name says hand butter, so I thought it would be quite thick, more like a butter texture, and it definitely wasn't. I'm expecting something very thick, something very luxurious, and it just was quite thin and runny, so probably won't repurchase that. I also used up the Almec Sensitive Plus Fluoride Rinse. Now this is a great if you have skin, not skin, <laughs> tooth sensitivities. So I have quite sensitive teeth and I started using this rinse like about a year ago and it's a really, really good rinse that helps to build up the strength of, I guess, the enamel. Um, so it helps to make your teeth less sensitive to heat and cold and stuff like that. And and it really does work. And I also used up um, something by Lush, and this is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. A conditioner for your whole body that you can use in the shower. So it's not like a body wash or something like that, or a shower gel. It has also like a thicker con consistency, kind of like, mm, kind of like a, a butter or something like that. It's a little thinner than a butter, but it's made with a lot of natural oils and stuff. So when you put it on, it has sort of a greasy feeling, but then you rinse it off after. And it's basically like conditioner for your whole body. And the scent is wonderful. It's a rose scent. So it smells really, really nice. And this works great. I don't know if I'd honestly repurchase this because it, it's quite spendy. It's quite expensive. And the honest, honestly, I kind of often forgot about this step. Like I'm more of like a shower gel and then I get out and then I put on cream. So so this is like an extra step and I often just like forgot about it because I was kind of just like in and out of the shower. Um, it's a lovely product though. So I might, I might get it again to like splurge on myself. Then I also used up another product by Lush. This is the Rose Jam Shower. Oh, there's a little bit left actually but it's hard to get out. Um, it's the Rose Jam Shower Gel, and it's a rose-scented shower gel, but it also has lemon in it, so it makes it a little bit fresher, and I loved that in combination with the body conditioner because it really kind of supported those um, the scent of it. This is a mascara. This is the L'Oreal Power Volume 24-Hour Black Smoke Mascara. I don't even remember putting this in here. I must have not liked it because usually I have so many mascaras that I'm trying to get through, and if I try them out and I don't like them I'll just put them in here so I must have not liked this one for whatever reason I have another body butter in here this is by the body shop and this is the honey mania body butter and um, this smelled so delicious 
totally empty. Um, it just smells like honey. I like their body butters a lot. I find them just really moisturizing. I've been actually using them a lot as my hand cream. Instead of using like a separate hand cream, I have this by my bed and then I'll use this as my hand cream as well. A product in here by Müller and this is a face wash. It's called the CV Cadea Vera Milde Reinigung Schaum. So it's a foaming face wash and I have been using this one honestly for years because it's really inexpensive and it's really removes makeup. It really cleanses the skin. Um, it foams up nicely. It comes out like as foam. It has like a pump so it comes out as foam and it just does its job. It doesn't irritate my eyes. Like I wash right around my eyes, like into the eyes, whatever. It doesn't sting. That's the most important thing with a facial cleanser because I'm not one to like avoid the eye area. I just kind of do it everywhere and this works really great. Dry shampoo in here. This is by Swiss Opar Frotte Trocken Shampoo. So it's just their dry shampoo. Again, it's not too expensive. I did use this up, but I don't know if I'm honestly going to be repurchasing it because lately I've just been using um, baby powder instead of dry shampoo. Like when I felt on days where I wanted to add some dry shampoo, I just use baby powder instead. And I feel like I like the feeling of it more. I also find that these inexpensive dry shampoos just smell horrible. It smells like a, a cleaning agent, like lemon scented pine sol or something like that. Um, I also used up a hand cream here by Nivea. This is the Repair and Care SOS hand cream. I ended up not repurchasing. I think it was the perfume started to irritate me. If you guys noticed, I'm not wearing any rings at the moment. Like I took off my wedding band and my engagement band. And the reason being, I've just had a lot of irritations on my skin, especially around my hands. I think it's because of the drier wintertime texture of my hands. And like I've been using a lot of hand cream, but just the rings have started to irritate me. So I'm just going to take them off for a while. Then I also have um, a deodorant in here. This is not so interesting. This is the one I always go for. It's the Rixona Men Maximum Protection. I always go for men's perfume or deodorant because I don't like the scent of ladies perfumes. I always find them sickeningly sweet and powdery. I feel like this one has a nice clean fresh scent. It doesn't really smell manly to me. It just smells like clean and fresh. A skincare product in here and this is by La Roche-Posay. It's the Nutritic Intense Riche Cream. Um, just when I winter was starting and I was starting to get more dry skin and so I needed like a more heavy duty sort of thicker consistency textured cream and I used this up to the last drop and I love this cream. Um, right now I'm using one by the body shop the um, drops of youth which I did a video on and I've been using that. I really didn't like it. It's more of a thick texture cream if you have very dry skin and you want sort of something very moisturizing and you don't mind a thicker texture. I mean it does absorb into the skin but it's not like a super light air gel texture. Um, if you want that kind of a cream, this is a really, really good one. The Nutritic Intense Riche. Oh my gosh, this product, I can't believe I finished this. This is the Sesh Vite Dry Fast Top Coat. This is the pro size. Um, it's four fluid ounces, which is 118 milliliters. And honestly, this, I think I bought this bottle when I started YouTube um, many years ago and it's lasted me for so long. It says here that you can use it for 36 months, but I have definitely used it for longer than 36 months. And I use, this is the only top coat that I use. So what I do is um, you just unscrew the top and then you can, you know, you, you would pour it into the little, the little bottle of the Sashvi, the one with the actual nail polish brush. So this is like a refill. And I also bought with the, um, with this, I bought the Sesh Restore, which is the um, thinning, thinning, agent that works perfectly with the Sesh Vite products. So if you like that dry fast top coat, for me, it's the ultimate best top coat I've ever used. Like, I don't think I'll ever use another top coat again in my life, <laughs> as long as this brand exists. Um, so if you like Sesh Vite, I would totally recommend to buy the large size. I got this on eBay. I ordered it like from a salon on eBay. All right, then I've got another um, mascara in here. This is the Lash Out Butterfly Mascara by L'Oreal. And I really did like this mascara. The brush is quite different. You can see it there. It's kind of goes up on one side. It makes very fluttery 
airy lashes. I think the name for it is really good. Lash Out Butterfly. It's very fluttery, very airy looking lashes. It really does a good job of separating. I think I just got rid of it because it was starting to dry out and getting clumpy. I have one of these um, nail polish removers from, this is the Co-op brand. So this is another in-house brand of a grocery store here that I go to. Bottles where you open it up and then there's like the um, foam inside that's full of, whoa, this is starting to smell. Whoa, this smells. Um, with the remover inside in the foam and then you just like stick your finger in it and turn around and it works really well. Like these things work so great because it does remove the polish really, really quickly. The only thing is I used to do in this past winter and fall, especially I did a lot of dark reds and burgundies and browns and stuff. And so the nail polish remover inside the liquid got so discolored very quickly and it actually stained my whole finger. So if you put the finger in, it would come out like my whole finger was stained red. So, I mean, the, the remover works, but if you use a lot of dark colors, it'll end up like staining your fingers. So I, I don't buy these anymore. Another thing in here, this is by Smashbox. This is the Jet Set Waterproof Eyeliner. This is like a mini version. The thing is just so dried out. Like you can see here, it's just so chunky. And the thing is, this was dried out from the like first day that I got it. Like when I got it, it was already so hard to apply and chunky. And what I did is I added some thinner to it. I have an, a thinner by Inglot and I, I put some of that and it like doesn't work at all. So this thing is just like the chunkiest eyeliner ever. And then I have another mascara in here. Now this one was also one that I really didn't like. This is by Bourjois. I feel like I've been mentioning a lot of Bourjois products that I don't like. This is the volume one second mascara inside. Like this is just, it looks like one of these like torture devices. You know what I mean? Spiky, really texturized, just super spiky. And the thing is these spikes are like really hard. So actually what happened is I was putting this on and then like one of these spiky things touched the inside of my eye and it like hurts, you know, it hurts. It feels like you're pricking yourself with something. So I blinked and I was like, oh, like this. And then I had mascara everywhere. So this thing is just so sharp. Like I feel like this wand is just too it's like a torture device for your eyes. Another hand cream in here. This one is by L'Occitane. Their Shea Butter Hand Cream. Um, it comes in this big tube, you know, the metal tube and Ooh, it's quite dusty. So this has 20% shea butter in it. And I did enjoy this. I think their hand creams are great. Um, they're very moisturizing. They feel lovely. They feel luxurious. As I said, in the winter, I've had like sensitivities on my skin, um, especially on my hands. And so I felt like this perfume actually irritated me. I don't know. At the moment, I probably wouldn't repurchase this, but I have quite sensitive skin. So another product in here that I'm getting rid of, now I don't even know what brand this is, to be honest. I think this was in some PR send out and it's just a black gel liner and it doesn't even have like the brand, it just says number seven on the bottom. So I don't know if that's like the brand name, number seven, um, but it's a black gel liner and I'm getting rid of it. I mean, it's still like creamy enough and stuff, but it's not opaque. Um, it's almost too creamy. So when you apply it, it looks more like a a dark gray than a black. And I've just been using the Inglot gel liner, which I think is the best gel liner. Black gel liner ever is by Inglot. So another product I used up is the La Roche-Posay Carium Shampoo. I do have a very dry scalp, especially in the winter time, like dry skin. So I was using this and it works so great. Also, if you do have dandruff, this is one that I can definitely recommend because it definitely works. I feel like all the drugstore um, dandruff shampoos have never worked for me. This one certainly does. It's a little bit more expensive than, you know, cheaper drugstore um, shampoos, but it really works. So if that's something that you're battling or something that you're dealing with, try out La Roche-Posay because they're just, they make really good products, especially for people with skin issues. And then I have two beauty blender dupe sponges in here. My God, these are disgusting. So these are um, the dupe sponges. These are not actual beauty blenders. I get these at the drugstore in Germany. Um, I always stock up because I can't find them here in Switzerland. They're by DM. So if you're at DM, they have the dupes of it. This one is, the purple one is slightly bigger and I wouldn't repurchase the purple because they're too big. The pink one to me is a really good dupe for the beauty blender. So I really like this and I always use them. So I always like to stock up on those. That is it for the empties. Like, thank God, that's a lot of stuff and I need to clean this now because this is really dusty and I can't wait to like get rid of all this stuff now. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you want to see more empties videos like this, if you find them helpful. And thanks for watching guys. Make sure to 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone!